thank you for joining us on Supreme Master Television. What is vegetarianism? In modern society, some consider it to be a good, healthy diet. To some, it is ethical, and to others, it is the purest way to attaining spiritual understanding. Public perception of the vegetarian diet is usually with the vegan diet, no animal products in the diet or lifestyle at all. Research has shown a number of health benefits related to vegetarian eating, heart disease, high blood pressure, adult onset diabetes, obesity, osteoporosis, and certain cancers occur less often in people who are vegetarian. Science has demonstrated that these health benefits are related to healthful food choices. Eating whole grains, fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds provides the body with the ammunition needed to fight disease and illness. A diet high in meat, saturated fat, milk, cheese and butter doesn't provide the same health benefits. A vegetarian eating plan, also known as plant-based eating, is based on a diet of grains, fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds. This style of eating has existed since the beginning of recorded history. As early as 600 BCE, a vegetarian movement was founded in ancient Rome. Vegetarian eating became popular in England and the United States in the mid-19th century. For many individuals, their whole lifestyle is defined by their vegetarian eating. In 1998, 7% of American adults consider themselves to be vegetarians. For today's segment of Vegetarianism, The Noble Way of Living, we invite you to journey with us to the Republic of Slovenia to meet one of the greatest men of our time, President Janez Drnovsek. Dr. Janez Drenovsek is a vegetarian and a champion of animal rights and welfare. Hello and welcome to Supreme Master television. Today we are in Slovenia, a very beautiful and peaceful country in the heart of Europe. Slovenia is renowned for its beautiful landscape and wonderful forests, but Slovenia also has a very enlightened president, Janis Dernasek. And it is my privilege today to speak to the president about his uh, spiritual philosophy in life his life as a vegetarian, and his work for humanity and at large. In 2006, you founded um, a non-political movement for raising human consciousness called Movement for Justice and Development. Could you tell me a little bit more about your views and aspirations for this wonderful movement? I think my objective is to raise consciousness of the people, not only in Slovenia, but around the world. I think that we need a critical mass of conscious people to change the present state of the world. There is too much suffering in the world and we, we destroy our planets day by day. And it's very necessary to raise the consciousness of the people so that they become aware of this. On the ground, most of the people of the world will be conscious. You know? Then I think the politics will move. Things will start to change. I am looking up in politics. And I don't expect that the change will be initiated from the politics from above. The pressure and the change must come from the foundations, from the people, from their consciousness. 
and then the behavior of politicians, of business leaders, will start to change and uh, we can create a better world. I do. You have also um, uh, written, and I quote, that we are, we are not whole because um, we are not compassionate and we do not love living, living things and that we are losing our connection to um, universal consciousness. How, how do you feel that we can become whole and regain that? When we overcome our selfishness, then we become whole. When we start to think good, to do good, when we feel with other people, other beings, and with nature, then we are whole. Otherwise, we do not really live, they say. And selfishness is the point, the critical point for a human being, for an individual to overcome its own selfishness. But it's also a critical point for the humanity as a whole. Today we have so much selfishness and greed. And uh, striving for power and uh, recognition material goods, but uh, we can see that the world is uh, 